Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to go over something with you that uh, a few guys, a few of you guys have asked about. So, um, when it comes to the new iForce Max in the 2022 Tundra, 2023 Tundra, and of course going beyond there, of course, um, a lot of people have questions about what it is, how it works. Um, Toyota actually released something on August 19th as part of a press release that. Uh, could actually help to clarify some of that for you. So I'm gonna go over that a little bit with you, show you a little bit on the screen. And, uh, you guys can follow along if you'd like. So um, an electrified pickup truck once seemed like an anomaly, anomaly, you know, easy for me to say, um, but when Toyota set out to uh, design the 2022 iForce Max, uh, the brand's all new powerful hybrid electric pickup, uh, it knew that challenging expectations would be the only road to success. Um, so winning customers over on hybrids has never been easy. It's uh, obviously it's one of those things to uh, to consider. There's a lot of people that are scared of hybrids, so they don't like to go that route, but uh, Toyota does not better than anybody else, of course. So uh, it says Toyota knows this firsthand because the automaker accepted the challenge years ago. Realistically, since about 2000, they've been producing uh, hybrid vehicles. So. Um, a little over two decades ago, Toyota released the first mass-produced hybrid vehicle, the Prius, um, which is before in Latin, so it's, that's where the name came from. Um, it introduced people across the globe to a car that could function the same as standard compacts they were used to, but with the additional benefits of improved fuel economy ratings and lower emissions. Um, but even as the Prius became popular, few could have predicted how popular they would become just 20 years later. Um, so uh, it's is uh, Jay Second, executive program manager in product development at Toyota Motor North America, helps illustrate the roles that the uh, engineers have played. Um, says we're now offering our fifth generation Toyota hybrid system, um, which is your THS. So it'll reference THS later in this article. So that's what THS is. Um, each generation has built off of that first. Prius. Uh, for years, hybrid vehicles were primarily confined to small car segments. The common thinking was that hybrids were an easy way to help save money on gas and reduce your carbon footprint. Uh, they were not known to be able to match the power and speed of a combustion engine. So for years, hybrid vehicles were primarily confined to small cars, of course, so it kind of goes into a bit of, you know, trying to save uh, energy, save carbon footprints, things along those lines. That's part of the press relief here, release here. But uh, the company now offers an electrified option in every category, sedan, minivan, SUV, and truck. Um, the Tundra being that latest and greatest, of course. So um, when Toyota um, Motor North America, they began to design the 22 Tundra, uh, they knew exactly the challenge that they were taking on. In the eyes of America's drivers, fuel economy and great performance are not always synonymous. Uh, but in the case of the iForce Max, it was necessary, a necessity that they are. And I will mention that I I had somebody that came out to me earlier and you know, before the Tundra came out and said, hey, this thing has the capability to get 30 miles a gallon. And I and I mentioned that to you guys that it had the capability to get 30 miles a gallon. And then it came out and it went, hey, it can get 22. And uh, <laughs> a few of you called me out on it, but I was just going off of information that I had, right? So, um, but here's the thing, when you go from getting 14, 15 miles a gallon to getting 22 miles a gallon and increasing torque, horsepower, everything else that this did, and we're gonna go over that a little bit more, uh, you can understand they went for the power instead of going for the economy, but they grabbed some of the economy too. So um, it probably could do a little bit better on gas, but you would lose some of the, the power stuff. That's just my opinion, but you know, that's, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, but it says we're sensitive to that point of view in the market, especially in the truck segment. So um, back to talking about how people feel about hybrids, of course. Um, so the mission of the new Tundra, especially the iForce Max, was determined it was not, it, it was to not just meet the expectation of the drivers um, awaiting a legitimately powerful hybrid electric pickup truck. It was to exceed them. Um, and I will mention too that the, the Tundra was, I mean, it was around for a long time. I mean, when, you know, you, you start talking about decades before a body body style change. That's a big deal when you start talking about 10 years. So um, obviously the uh, the Tundra was around for a long time in the uh, uh, previous uh, 
in previous body style, right? So um, they had to change it, and when they did, they just went all out. So Toyota engineers came up with a solution by putting the electric motor in a V6 turbo engine in tandem. The dual motor performance would be additive. So as opposed to alternating between electric motor and a combustion engine like a traditional hybrid. So if you look on the inside of the engine on a traditional hybrid, you've got a motor and you've got an engine. They're, they're two different things. This is different. So, um, so this is why this works so well, right? So um, as opposed to alter alternating between the electric motor and the combustion engine like with a traditional hybrid, the two would work in parallel to boost, boost the total output of the truck um, beyond even what the outgoing V8 had, right? So making it work together is a technological breakthrough. So um, Toyota has figured this out, right? While some of the technology uh, used like motors, inverters, is similar to the hybrid system, um, this architecture, uh, the architecture and operation is totally different. Um, that was said by Sackett. So uh, through our new iForce Max one motor system, torque and power are supplied to the wheels in two individual paths via the V6 turbo engine and via the electric motor. Um, so the powerful design here. So to achieve the vision, the engineering team needed to physically put the electric motor between the engine and the transmission. 10 speed transmission, by the way, guys. So 10 speed transmission. Uh, the motor would be asked to supplement the engine's output when necessary, adding more torque um, as the driver demand, demands it, or in the case of a very subtle uh, throttle input, taking on the full load and allowing the engine to conserve fuel. Um, in Sackett's word, words, the amazing thing was with this powertrain is that now the customer does not have to compromise power and torque to have better fuel economy. Um, the result is a truck that sports 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque and can haul up to 1,665 pounds in the payload and can tow up to a, a, a huge 11,450 pounds um, in a way that engineers have come to call confident and natural. Um, our powertrains achieve peak torque at a very low RPM. It's like 2,600 RPM for the torque. It's, it's crazy what you can do with the torque on them. Um, compared to the outgoing V8, I believe the outgoing one was like 53 or 5,400 RPM to get its torque. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm close. Um, this means the engine runs quieter, the vehicle drives smoother, and it really pulls your trailer. Um, another benefit is the 10-speed transmission, um, which gives drivers the feel of gears shifting that can be expected in the trucks and aids in towing, where a driver would naturally downshift to control speed, especially in hilly terrain, the Tundra is designed to do it on its own. The same functionality helps in off-road situations where uh, low speed but high torque is desired. The magic of this dual powertrain, uh, the confident and natural feeling is that whether it's just the electric motor, just a combustion engine, or both in sync, the driver can control the vehicle comfortably and may not even feel the changes occurring beneath the hood. It is barely perceptible when it engages and disengages hybrid operations a second. On our test drives, we kept an eye on the speedometer and it was surprising how quickly you got up to speed. Uh, kind of giving you guys a little bit of an update too. So I plan on doing something and this is part of a, a little announcement I have right now. So you guys know I've been waiting on my Tundra um, and it is now being built. So I'm extremely excited that my Tundra is now being built and I'll take you guys on a journey with mine. Um, so be watching out for that. Definitely make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to show you, uh, at least I plan to show you everything from how it looks when it comes off the truck to you know what, what it's like when I first get it to my first impressions of it to fuel economy, what I can make it get. I'll try to drive it a little bit more conservatively. I'll try to drive it a little less conservatively. I'll see how it reacts. Um, power, torque, things like that. I plan on making you guys uh, very aware of what happens with my truck. So um, I definitely want you guys to be there. So definitely make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll make sure that uh, you guys really enjoy uh, learning about it with me. So we'll have some fun, but um, definitely we'll talk to you guys soon. Steve Welch, Beaven Toyota. Have a great one.